Hey guys, so the other day when I did the double X unboxing video, I promised you guys I'll do a review of this mobile suit as quick as possible, and here it is now. So, so to kick off this review, I'll start with the initial thoughts of this mobile suit. At first, you know, I really wanted this mobile suit because of the twin satellite cannons which really stood out to me and the satellite system over here, and along with the other gimmicks of this suit, which made me a really big fan of this suit. And I believe that. Most people have been waiting for this MG for a very very long time because as you know the anime came out in the 90s and you know, Master Grey has been seen ever since uh, until now. Now I wanted to get the HG double X but I held off because I really wanted the MG double X because I believe that it would really look badass and very you know it just oozes power and charm and yes I was right because because this suit is easily one of my favorite builds of any kind and why I like about the double X that makes it stand out so much okay one thing I really didn't like about this suit it's is um, fingers because I mean the fingers are the kind of the static kind which can be a good thing because it's solid and does move around a lot you know in more markets with those fully articulating fingers and it's a shame that they didn't put the fully articulating fingers in but it's okay because uh, this one will do because it holds the weapons up fine and I really have no qualms about it. One thing that they have done really well with this kit is the color separation and the articulation which I'll demonstrate later. Now the color separation on this kit is amazing. I'm not too sure you can see this but no, I've done no panel lining on whatsoever on this kit. And this kit looks amazing already. The amount of details on this suit is just wow stands out among the other mobile suit I just don't know why because I mean maybe the suit was very well designed from the start I don't know but no I think this is one of the better looking mobile suits up to date I believe quite a bit of people would actually stand on my side but of course not everyone has their own opinion so you know you might not find this suit as attractive as the others start with going about the red so there's several red parts on the mobile suit which is the head over here and the waist area and the crouch and the knees they're all red and now onto the yellow you have the v-fin the chest and the toes collapsible gimmick of the mobile suit being this part here and this part here on uh, both sides of the mobile suit um, it's made of dull go I'll give a closer look later on when I do the articulation of the mobile suit for now uh, please bear with me on the down go is well, it's this kind of goal. Well, it's not really a goal, but as I say, it's a dull goal, but it still looks quite good. It doesn't shine a lot, but I'm not too sure the Hyakushiki 2.0, which is coming out in a few months' time, would use this kind of dull goal, but well, I'm perfectly fine with it. It looks very good. And now, the satellite system uses a clear yellow. I'm not sure you can see that. Here's a dull goal for comparison. Dalgo might look a bit shiny because of the lighting up there, but well, it's not really the kind of extremely reflective shiny gold, more of a matte gold kind. Probably a bit more matte yellowish. And here's the clear yellow, which is over here. And you're given this kind of, they're not stickers, more like paper with foil, wallpaper pasted onto it, and then you just plug them out like pieces of paper and you just paste them in and then you and then you would paste the clear parts into the satellite system that's about it for the yellow so now there's a lot of dark blue on the suit in here here the legs the shoulders the chest and yeah, that's pretty much it and you have some clear green quite a bit actually the camera uh, you have it on this satellite cannons over here and these satellite cannon thingies are quite cool gimmicks too I'll show you guys later on here you have clear green over here and, and you get uh, quite a few level parts you get some for the legs which are over here and this one's over here and there's two runners of course if I confused you and you get lots of polycaps that are used so you can keep them for some other mobile suit that might need it but I'm not too sure if you can actually find one that fits now, um, the saying so much, you know, I think it's time for me to delve into the gimmicks of the suit. So this is side profile if you're interested. 
Alright, so first off, um, I like to talk about this gimmick over here. It's made of down gold and some yellow over here. First of all, these things collapse in very nicely. I've seen no errors with them. And there's a lever over here that's holding you know these down gold parts together along with this uh, dark blue part over here. So when you move the dark blue part, you know, like this, it'll just collapse everything. But when you move the dark blue part, it will know engage the lever and the lever will actually pull out the gold <coughs> now, same goes to the arms over here it work on the same lever mechanism but a bit smaller now for the this satellite cannons over here these parts they actually these optics I believe these optics of the satellite cannon they can actually go down like this and of course they they do slide in so you know it's a bit shorter because they slide in and slide out so you attach like this but now for the time being I'll slide them in and this one for the time being I'll slide them in so basically these satellite cannons they can go in and out so basically you can push them alright a bit tight right here click sound very satisfying same goes for the other one and then you push them out like this so that you don't hit the satellite systems and then you would turn them around like this and then they will be in position nicely so for the satellite system you have to disengage the peg one peg will do fold it in and then you just fold this part in then you have it folded and collapsed same goes for the other one, I'll demonstrate again take out the pegs so take out the pegs fold this in and then to show again fold this in and then it will be nicely in place the beam rifle it's very unique because you know it looks very nice, lots of colors and the design of the rifle it's not too bad itself then you have a cockpit over here which opens up and pulls down and oops there's a pilot inside there and it's a Garrett ran inside piloting the double X and the cockpit might get in the way of the mo mobile suit's head so you have to push it up like this or the articulation of the suit you know it's quite good, so it can do a 360. The arms can fold up, do a standard Bandai 180. Same goes to the legs. The legs are very stiff and solid, which I like. Can do a very good movement over there. Tight skirts are actually beam save handles. So you can attach the beam savers into this beam handle and have the mobile suit to hold it. And speaking of beam savers, I have not shown you the beam savers of the mobile suit yet. It's actually these large ones over here. You get two of them of course. They are not your regular pink beam savers which is a good thing and it's quite unique because it looks very very you know, high output I would say. And one more precaution is the Vulcans on the chest. No, I actually lost one of the parts and no, it's very hard to find it so please don't lose it, keep it somewhere safe. Let's they move up like this. The back skirt doesn't move a lot. Now the thrusters over here they're not really movable. Now the shield just folds like this and it's compressed of several sections over here so you can fold it and then you can turn it around and do all sorts of stuff with it but you know I'm gonna leave it like that for now it's held by a peg over here which attaches into the elbow of the mobile suit and I'll attach it inside right here and you have a shield now I like this shield because you know it doesn't really impede with the movement of the arm too much because you can extend it out but you know um, it can be quite flimsy but, but
but so far I haven't had any problems with it yet and you get a Tifa figure over here I can't remember her name but I think it's Tifa get a Tifa figure over here Can focus, yes, very nice and then you got Tifa figure over here but they don't give you one of Garrett so that's a shame but it's okay now this suit it's not flimsy, it's quite flimsy uh, but not too overly flimsy, it's still quite solid been quite pleased with Bandai's engineering nowadays now I think you know, I've pretty much covered all about the suit for now I guess now I'll talk about the hogs that you should take note when building this particular kit so now moving on, um, the suit is quite simple to build um, there's nothing much to take note about the building of this suit uh, it's quite simple, I recommend I recommend beginners who are building MGs to start with this. This is a very good suit to start with. And um, remember when you're securing the um, when you're securing the feet to the waist, it can be quite tight. It can be quite tight, so please keep an eye on it. And you know, I think that's pretty much it. The suit it's very simple to build. And you know, I recommend this suit to anyone who wants to build a mobile suit. Now, um, I think that's pretty much it for this review. Um, final thoughts about this suit is that it's an amazing suit. I recommend everyone to go and grab it because it looks very nice. And you know, you won't regret it, I believe, because I feel like this is one of the more solid suits that they have come up with in the recent times. If you're interested, you can check out uh, the unboxing of this mobile suit they have done for a few days ago. Um, you know, I might be quite biased, but I mean, you know, go grab it. You no, know, you won't regret it because this suit is very nice to build, and I had fun doing it. And you know, if you have any questions, uh, leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And and subscribe if you like what I do. And until then, you know, I might build the G Lucifer next, and there might be a review of that coming up next. So please keep an eye on it and so uh, until then bye bye guys